write the general term in the expansion of x square minus y whole raised to 6. Let us see the solution for this. Here the given expression is x square minus y whole raised to 6. Now we know that the general term the general term or the r plus 1th term or the r plus 1th term of the expansion of the expansion a plus b whole raised to n is t r plus 1 equals to n c r into a raised to n minus r into b raised to r. Therefore the general term of therefore the general term of x square minus y whole raised to 6 would be t r plus 1 equals to 6 c r into x square whole raised to 6 minus r into minus y raised to r this is equal to 6 c r into x raised to 6 into 2 is 12 minus 2 into r is 2 r into minus y raised to r can be written as minus 1 raised to r into y raised to r. This is further equals to 6 c r into minus 1 raised to r into x raised to 12 minus 2 r into y raised to r. Hence this is the general term of the expansion of x square minus y whole raised to 6. Next we have to find the general term in the expansion of x square minus yx whole raised to 12 where x is not equal to 0. Here the given expression is x square minus yx whole raised to 12 where x is not equal to 0. Now we know that the general term the general term or the r plus 1th term in the expansion of in the expansion of a plus b whole raised to n is t r plus 1 equals to n c r into a raised to n minus r into b raised to r this implies that the general term general term in x square minus y x whole raised to 12 where x is not equal to 0 is t r plus 1 equals to 12 c r into x square whole raised to 12 minus r into minus y x whole raised to r. This is equal to 12 c r into x raised to 24 minus 2 r into minus 1 raised to r into y raised to r into x raised to r. This is further equal to 12 c r into minus 1 raised to r into x raised to 24 minus 2 r plus r into y raised to r which gives us 12 c r into minus 1 raised to r into x raised to 24 minus 2 r plus r is minus r into y raised to r. Hence this is the general term of this expansion. So this completes our solution.